Well, I just had a breakup a little bit ago. It's okay, he liked MMA. <laughs> My new rule now though is no more blonde dudes, you know? You guys are weird. You are, except for my brother, he's cool. But I can't date him because he just got married, so. <laughs> also, if you are a man and you eat your steak cooked more than medium rare, I do not want to fuck with you. <laughs> I feel like if you eat your steak cooked well done, like you definitely wouldn't fuck a chick on her period. <laughs> and then you're what everyone hates about millennials, you know, you're weak. <laughs> if I found out a dude I was dating ate his meat cooked well done, my dream way to break up with him would be to get my period. <laughs> all over the bed. <laughs> and then say to him, I would like to shed myself of you. <laughs> as I've just shed this egg. <laughs> I love beef, I love beef so much. I love it, I love it. No carbs, no hot fructose corn syrup. And I get to absorb the souls of the dead animals and become strong like Satan. <laughs> it's been really fun getting back out there. I love it. Um, I was talking to this new dude. <laughs> And he was like, all you need to know about me is that Yale corrupted me <laughs> and Goldman Sachs ruined me. <laughs> I just date rape myself to save time. <laughs> I know being gay is not a choice because I try to choose it every day. Yeah. Why date men when there's a whole nother gender that washes their sheets? <laughs> Just kidding, my type is uh, men who exercise in jeans. <laughs> no, I love my ex-boyfriend. Uh, MMA guy or whatever. Um, he loved like training and fighting and triumph. He loved triumph. Um, like he liked me because I used to be an extreme athlete. So he saw our entire relationship through that lens. So whenever he would introduce me to someone, he would immediately bring it up. And like, I know it's cause he was proud of me, but like all I would hear is, I love my sturdy bitch. <laughs> like he'd see me and he'd just lock in on these thoroughbred Ladanian Tomlinson ass quads. <laughs> and be like, this is a bitch I can breed with. <laughs> and like, also help me push a car out of a ditch. And I liked him for the low-level baritone of his voice that reminded me of my dad. <laughs> Weird being loved for something that you hated yourself for your whole life. You know, like he loved, he loved me for my lifetime consumption of protein, you know? Um, but I don't want to be loved for who I am. I want to be lied to. Like all I wanted was for him to just come over and whisper in my ear, you little fucking skinny ass bitch. <laughs> you little fucking skinny, 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 skinny. Skinny, skinny, skinny ass 
ass bitch, that's what I wanted in my ear. Cause all I've ever wanted is to have like fragile arms and look a little cold. My dad is like a tough Italian uh, athlete man. I am Italian, I know you can't tell cause I look like if John Bonet lived. <laughs> of all the things I've done in my life, which are many, um, The thing my father is most proud of is my muscles. Just like the muscles that I was born with. He's like, yeah, you came out like a rock. Only newborn I ever saw that could hold its head up by itself. Honest to God, I thought to myself, this kid's a tank. Loved hearing that one growing up. It really got in my head, you know, cause like you're a little girl and you're like, oh, if I could just be like wispy and disappear, that'd be so hot. <laughs> it got in my head like one time in fifth grade, this kid Thomas called me manly and without thinking it through, I just got a running start and mauled him like a black bear. Not a great PR move for my dainty campaign. <laughs> my dad thinks our generation is soft. He says we're weak. I was down there visiting them in Orange County and uh, <laughs> and my dad came in my room and he was like, are you doing that millennial bullshit where you lay down in the middle of the day? <laughs> so I put him in a headlock and I was like, I'll let you go if you can tell me my birthday. 